Hello, welcome to Stem Cell University. I am Katana. And I am Patty. Our Stem Cell University channel is here for educational purposes only. We do not intend to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or medical condition. Always consult with your physician or other qualified healthcare providers before embarking on a new treatment, product to use, diet, or fitness plan. In the last episode, we left talking about effects of thyroid. Looking at glutathione, we discussed copper and the intakes of what you need in the body. Patty, did you know the foods are important too for thyroid? The pictures that she has up there is apples, uh, asparagus, avocados, broccoli, which promotes eating healthier for the body, for your body to function better. And what is the most effective glutathione? The body holds its own uh, glutathione. Uh, so the understanding, the only way this helps release is if you're eating some of these foods and caring for the body. We, in this time period, have to take initiative in our own health. And the best assistance is the body itself creating its own glutathione. Understanding how the body can create and the natural ways of getting this created itself. It increases energy, slows down aging process. That's the reason why some people look health, younger and healthier at 80 than others do. It's what they intake in their body. Mm -hmm. It reduces muscle and joint discomfort, in, uh, the immunity system, mm -hmm. and it detoxifies the, the liver and the cells. The cells are very important. This is why we talk about the stem cells. And as Patty is showing us, to drink our water. Because water is the most important thing for stem cells to grow. And it helps flushes, it flushes out all of those toxins out of the body. If you're not flushing those toxins out, then they have to go somewhere in the body. And we found this wonderful guy. His name is David Schmidt. And he uh, is talking about glutathione. So let's see if we can listen. Let's check him out. Right in. Okay, great. So uh, I know that everyone is really focused not on ensuring that our bodies, you know, have... As she's working on that, we have to understand that we should be the advocate of our own health. We should engage in our own health because the per the person that's going to care about it the most is yourself. Shall we try it again? There we go. Right in. Okay, great. So uh, I know that everyone is really focused on ensuring that our bodies, you know, have the strongest immune systems possible. So let's kind of start at the beginning and help everyone know what glutathione is and why this photonutrient is important in our body. Can you help us understand that a bit, please? Sure. Well, when we talk about immune function, there's really two sides of the coin and only one side gets covered really, and that would be the role of antioxidants. And this is a bit of a mistake because we need to look at the whole picture in balance. And what that means is that oxidative stress, which doesn't sound like a good thing, uh, is actually an important part of immune function. So we normally think of oxidative stress as a bad thing, and this was always the traditional model, is that as we age, uh, levels of inflammatory markers and oxidative stress goes up, so that means those are bad, and levels of antioxidants like glutathione go down, and those are good, and so therefore we want to increase glutathione and reduce 
oxidative stress. In general, that's true, but it's it's far too limiting of a picture. Meaning, let's let's take a very practical example. So let's say that uh, <clears throat> someone has a virus in their body, and what the human body will do is uh, release immune cells to as part of the first level of response. So let's say the emergency responders go to work and they are going to be releasing oxidative chemicals. So hydroxyl ion, hydrogen peroxide, ozone, uh, the superoxide radical. Uh, they'll release these oxygen radicals which destroy the virus on contact. Now, if someone has impaired immune function, what that really means is that their ability to induce oxidative stress in the virus is diminished. And because a virus is not gonna have an antioxidant system to protect itself, uh, it is gonna be destroyed by, by the body's immune system. So this is a very simplistic view. Now, those oxidative chemicals will hang around, so now the body's uh, antioxidant system like glutathione and uh, superoxide uh, dismutase, SOD, will uh, prevent the oxidative radicals from damaging healthy tissue. But this is just all to say that we need to balance out uh, our immune function with antioxidants to protect uh, our cells from uh, being overstressed. So that's first thing, to give everybody a complete picture. Now, the other thing that's generally true uh, is that as we age, for most people, their mitochondrial function, the, uh, center, the area of their cell that produces energy, uh, that declines with age. And as a result, then things like the ability of the body to make glutathione will normally decline with age. And uh, we'll share some studies today that show that glutathione is linked to uh, not only how long you live, but your your health span as well how long you stay healthy so uh and with glutathione it's it's oh, particularly why. interesting because it's ubiquitous it's found nearly everywhere in the body um you would find it as the antioxidant that's protecting your hearing your sense of smell uh it protects cognitive function uh, obviously immune function, it's found in very high concentrations in the liver, so it, it supports detoxification. So um, I may have went off the rails a little bit there based on your question, but uh, th this is, I wanted to start out giving people a perspective that, that immune function is more than simply saying we need to elevate antioxidants, we need to have everything balanced, but antioxidants is certainly a very important part of, uh, of immunity. Well, I appreciate you sharing that perspective. Hold up. The David was talking about how glutathione helps the body live healthier and longer. Better health, longer health. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's really important. I will take that. I'll take that too. Um, do you know how old David is, Patty? I'm, I heard him, I think he's 59. Does he look like he's 59? No, not at all. He's got great skin. Yeah. Um, me and Patty's uh, listened to a lot of different things and we have done a lot of research. And um, David doesn't just talk about health, he promotes it through his own body. And the other thing is, he is out to assist everybody else in the world, as we are, to help you live a happier, healthier longevity in, in, in this time, in this age. There's so many that are out there to make money off of our um, unhealthiness. And we're here to teach you how to be healthier and happier. If you're healthy, you're happy. That's right. Should we listen a little more? Sure.
fully understand what really makes our immune system strong and helps us to to do a lot of those things that you just talked about with the balancing, right? But I guess I have a, another question that kind of spins off of what you just talked about and kind of looking for a little bit more clarity. So, you know, why why is this particular antioxidant, glutathione, so important for our overall well-being? I know you touched on this a little, but can you dive more into why our health and immune function are so closely linked to the levels of glutathione and why 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 is also I know why is this considered the master antioxidant? I've heard people say that before, so maybe yeah. you can share some <laughs> yeah, sure thing. Glut glutathione is interesting. First of all, it's made of three amino acids. Uh, so it's made of glycine, cysteine, and glutamic acid. And uh, cysteine would be considered the rate-limiting amino acid in the body. Um, so in other words, we're heavily dependent on our diet to get in cysteine. So people that consume milk and dairy products, uh, people that consume eggs are getting plenty of cysteine in their diet. And as a matter of fact, traditionally, uh, just through diet, those would be some ways of elevating glutathione, just whey protein and, uh, and eggs. Um, glycine, uh, which is also a component of copper peptide uh, with our X39 patch, uh, is found in a diet that's rich in protein and the body makes uh, plenty of glutamic acid. So we really want to make sure that we get enough cysteine in the diet. But the interesting thing about this is that these three amino acids are held together electronically, meaning they're, they're held together by electrons. And so as a result, glutathione has the interesting ability to be able to share its electrons with other antioxidants like vitamin C. So let's say that, again, let's use a practical example. Let's say that someone had an injured knee and they went to the orthopedic surgeon and the orthopedic surgeon said, I'm sorry, you need a double knee replacement and there's nothing we can do, right? Sometimes people find themselves in this situation. Well, this is a good time to say I'm not a medical doctor, I'm an inventor and uh, so I'm not gonna give any medical device uh, advice here but uh, this is what the research shows, is that uh, vitamin C will act as a trigger to regenerate lost cartilage under the right circumstances, and glutathione is involved in that process. So in other words, if you look through journals uh, for, uh, for orthopedic surgeons and you look at what is on the cutting edge, it's gonna be the use of stem cells to regrow cartilage, to obviate the need for knee surgery and knee replacement. And also you'll find going back to the late 2000s, research on the use of glutathione in regenerating <laughs> lost cartilage. So in other words, bringing this back home, if someone had was interested in attempting to regenerate cartilage as long as that's okay with their doctor, what they'd want to do is elevate their glutathione. They would want to take a glutathione, i uh, sorry, a vitamin C supplement, let's say a thousand milligrams several times per day, and then they would need a source of protein and the preferred protein for uh, cartilage regeneration would be uh, collagen. And what we found through practical experience is that this does indeed regenerate cartilage. So th this, is, this is all to underscore the importance of glutathione because what happens is as the body uses up its vitamin C, glutathione can break apart, share its electrons and regenerate the oxidized vitamin C back into active vitamin C. So this is one of the reasons why glutathione is, is called the master antioxidant, its ability to regenerate other antioxidants and make them active again. Another reason is because glutathione is found throughout the body, as we've already discussed. Uh, the metabolic functions of glutathione are extraordinarily broad. Um, I'll share screen for you. I found a nice link here that I think our, our members would like uh, that will summarize some of the benefits of glutathione. So this is at coremedscience.com, uh, although there are many other 
uh, sources if you want to just Google blue defining benefits. But this is a nice one because it, uh, this is a nice link because it talks about some of the things that reduce a person's glutathione levels. So, for example, uh, when people are under any type of physical stress, uh, emotional stress, they're exposed to radiation. So people that are, are traveling a lot, like me, and you're on a plane, uh, you get exposed to radiation. So you want to keep your glutathione and carnosine levels up. Uh, some medications are going to deplete glutathione levels. That's worth knowing. Um, we wouldn't make any medical claims about this. Uh, but there are viral infections that re that reduce glutathione levels or they respond very well to uh, glutathione supplements. So I'll be very clear, we've never done a clinical study using our glutathione patch to treat a viral infection. And if someone was interested in that, I'd tell them to take uh, a N-acetylcysteine supplement which elevates glutathione and is clinically shown to treat a number of interesting viral infections. Yeah, here it gets into a uh, number of the more well-known benefits of glutathione, and uh, that, that would be worth someone taking the time to look at it. Wow. I always love... Wow. So let's say that right there is amazing. So here we are. David is explaining something that's very important that we need to know, right? Yes, we need this in our life, Patty. And this is why we're explaining to you glutathione. Have a great day and stay healthy. And don't forget to exercise, walk, and eat healthy.